Trudeau and not the Alliance and get Alberta back to work. Hard parts! No! Hard parts! No! In 87 ridings. The choice ahead is the starkest Albertans have faced in decades. Hey, Jason! Campaigning one at a time, one at a time. The mudslinging, the plot twists have come down to this moment, one day of decision. When it comes to Alberta elections, the path to power is a numbers game. Rachel Martin sold Alberta out to Justin Trudeau, and all we got in exchange was a carbon tax and no pipelines. This election is about you. It's about your future, and it's about who is fit to be your premier. Albertans are sick and tired of this kind of rhetoric. They want to hear real solutions. Our loyalty is only to Albertans. Now, from Global News Studios in Edmonton, this is Decision Alberta. I'm Gord Steinke. And I'm Linda Olson, and welcome to Decision Alberta, Global's province-wide election night coverage. It's been a heated campaign with the two frontrunners pitted against each other. On the right, Jason Kenney's newly formed United Conservative Party, and on the left, Rachel Notley's incumbent NDP government. In less than 60 minutes, the polls will close and we'll learn the results of your vote. We are following the night's developments as they happen, from party headquarters to key ridings. Our coverage tonight stretches across Alberta. It also spans all of our platforms, from television to the radio airwaves on Global News Radio and live streaming and live blogging online at globalnews.ca. So let's set the stage. What have Albertans been thinking about as they cast their ballots today and in the very busy advance voting leading up to tonight? It's been four years since the 2015 election ended in an upheaval of the province's political landscape. Rachel Notley and the NDP swept into power in a resounding rejection of the Progressive Conservative Party that had been the government for 44 years. But taking over the legislature as the Alberta economy faced a crippling downturn. In the last four years, tens of thousands of jobs have been lost as the home of Canada's oil sands suffered the effects of a prolonged period of low oil prices and a lack of ways to get that oil to market, making the need for a new pipeline a major focus for Albertans and the government. Rachel Notley and her government set out on a cross-country campaign to push for a pipeline, wooing support in Ottawa and fighting back against British Columbia's attempts to block the Trans Mountain expansion until a federal court ruling overturned the pipeline's approval, putting the project on hold where it remains today. And that's where Jason Kenney comes in, leading a newly formed United Conservative Party. Kenney has promised to get the pipeline built, scrap the NDP carbon tax, and take Ottawa to court for everything from equalization to Bill C-69. But Kenney has also had to deal with distractions. His campaign dogged by investigations into the UCP leadership campaign and candidate controversies. Well, polling has shown most Albertans think it's Jason Kenney and the United Conservatives that have the best plan to bring back jobs and get a pipeline built. Let's bring in Global's Joel Senek now, who's at the UCP headquarters in Calgary. And Joel, we can hear the music. What's the mood like there tonight? Yeah, the band, Linda and Gord, is already warming up for what people here hope will be a big victory party down at the Big Four building on...